Right, here we are, I'm going to do an unboxing now of the DeWalt DCV582. Uh, wet and dry vacuum, runs on 18 volt, 14.4 volt and mains electricity. Just had it delivered, so let's have a look inside and see what we get. Whilst trying not to cut my fingers off. Instruction manual. Safety guide. Three year guarantee. Might be useful. An adapter of some sort. And here it is. In there. Right, let's see what we've got. Now on the box you got all the features, H2O, wet and dry, 1.5 meter hose, so got a long hose for getting to your jobs. Detachable hose, plugged in there for suck. Allegedly plugged in there. Not plugged in there. Ah. Little toggles on there. So only fit in one way. There. Wind up and then twist to lock it in. So that's now set to blow. Now that might be a tricky thing if you're trying to do this quickly or in the dark. Those little noggins on there are going to be hard to find. So try and line them up first visually, put it in, twist the lock. Now, that's that done. Mains cable, put in porter. Yeah. Reasonably long, not too bad. Luckily I've got a socket there so it doesn't have to go very far. But being it's on battery at mains, it shouldn't be a problem anyway. Wind that back up. Right, see what else we've got. Weight four and a half kilos, so not too heavy, reasonably portable. Should be able to carry that around without straining yourself too much. 7.5 litre tank for the water. So, held on by the clips, one each side. Sturdy reservoir for collecting all your debris and your water. You see, filtered intake, and this I believe is removable somehow. Yeah, just a twist and lock, so you can stick that in the washer, clean it up, you're good to go. Got a ball in there, which I guess is a cut off device, so when the water gets too high, it goes up to the chamber and turns off the vacuum, stop you ruining the motor or anything like that. Twist and lock into place. Uh, nothing else really of any interest in there. What all that was? That is attachment. Quite firm clasps. Should last a while. I would have hoped really for metal ones, but the plastic and they seem quite strong. But you got your three year guarantee, so I presume they're going to be covered. Um, not too sure. All the tools fit together quite nicely. This, I think, is an adapter to be used with uh, DeWalt power tools like your circular saw uh, or your power planer. Then you just plug in, plug into your tool, you're good to go. Uh, what else have we got? That's about it really. Lengthwise, i will say it's probably just over a foot in length. Uh, width wise, if you're going to put it into a storage device of some sort, it's probably, I don't know, 10, 11 inches. So it's not quite square. It's got a bit of an overhang where your battery goes, which is here. 
Uh, put your on-off switch on the top, which is a decent quality rocker switch. And from what I can tell, it looks like that might be waterproof, or at least IP67 or whatever the specification is for light splashes or just water ingress. So that's all pretty good. Um, not really anything else I can say. I'm going to give it a good test and I'll be doing another video on that to show you uh, various things, dust, water, uh, sawdust from power tools. But if you've got anything you want to say or any comments, put them in the link down below. Thanks again.